Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. I got this Harbor Freight battery charger I was using on my car the other day and I went to go turn it off and I pushed this button in and it freaking got stuck in there and then stuff started sparking in there and smoking. So I'm going to dismantle this charger because it knows it work no longer work. I've had it about six months and uh, it says uh, battery charger with display 120 V 60 Hertz 84 W out input 612 volt VDC 246 amp output um, I got this pretty cheap I think it was like 15 bucks at Harbor Freight and as you can hear there's something broken and popping around in there so I'm going to uh, take these screws out and and I'll show you what's on the inside. All right, so I got three of these extremely long screws out. I got the fourth one here I'm doing right now. I actually got two of these chargers that I bought off of Harbor Freight. And uh, like I said, this one caught fire on me, broke down the other day. So let's the screws out. Let's take this apart and see what's on the inside. Some connections here. I'll take off. Anything fall out of that. All right. This is what we have on one side. That's the uh, LCD side. The buttons here. This is what would actually broken cop fire. So. I don't know what burned up, but I think um, there's looks like char marks right there, char marks or whatever, burn marks. Um, that's what happened. This screw right here broke. You can see that little piece of broken red stuff here, and this must have made contact somewhere on the other side. This is what the other side looks like. Some cooling fins. There's an actual fuse right there. I, I don't know if it's burned out. I haven't checked it out yet. But uh, yeah, it was smoking and sparking on me. So, you know, this thing uh, goes this way. So the board would be on this side. This board here. So it must have touched. It must have made contact with this thing here, whatever this is, mini transformer looks like, and uh, caused it smoking. I can't tell if that fuse is burned out. It doesn't look like the fuse is burned out. I'm going to get a closer shot of this, what it looks like. In case somebody wants to try to build one of their own, there's another view. So, whatever that is there, I don't know what this is called, but I'm just showing in case somebody wants to make their own battery charger. There's a transformer here, looks like, and then you got these little things inside here. Cooling fan. This is some kind of two-way tape, but uh. Yeah, these are definitely cooling tins here. This is this is just two-way tape to this, it looks like. Can't really tell. I don't know, it's got the one of these things in there. Whatever this is called. Just drop the screw, hope it don't step on it. And uh, some capacitors look like. It says 35V and 1000 something here this thing here says 20 amp one looks like 140 or 14 VDC and then underneath this is 20, 20 amp 125 VA AC and then right here is a number it says SRA-05 VDC-CL and uh, this connector here 
and then these look like two little capacitors there. I can't read what they are. I don't see no writings on them anywhere. But let me uh, continue to take this board apart here. And then you got these these things here. I don't know what they are. But this definitely doesn't work anymore. So I don't I don't know what's wrong with it because the fuse still looks intact. Doesn't look burned out. But uh, I don't have the power cord for this. I'm using the power cord for this one. I took it off because I, I got this monitor here and it needed a power cord and it fit. So I use, I'm using it on the monitor now. But the rest of this I'm just going to throw out because it doesn't work. Um, it smells, smells got a burnt smell in there, like electronic burning smell. Uh, so. You know, that's what you get when you buy stuff at Harbor Freight. Let me take this little board off here. Because this little board here is uh, definitely what shorted out the whole thing. Because that's the on and off button. I pushed it in and it broke and then uh, burned out everything. where them little plugs plugged into. Like I say in all my videos and I dismantle electronics. I'm not an electronic guy. This is actually a display. This thing uh, probably still works. I'm not sure but it's not broken or cracked or anything. I'm dropping screws everywhere. I'm going to end up stepping on them. Alongside my foot. This is actually a display so this thing might still work. I have no idea, but maybe I'll hang on to that. Maybe one of my electronics friends might want it. But, uh, you know, this. Yeah, that was the display thing. Well, let's go over here to this side now. This cord I can probably still use because it has the, uh, the clamps use these clamps or something, I'm sure. But, uh, let's take this board out here. Only two screws holding this board in. This is the cooling fan there. Let's just take that cooling fan off. Save that for something else another day. Another screw to step on. There we go. And you have it, that's done. And this cooling fan is just held in with two-way tape. And as you, oh, there you go. You see the back side of that board, it's all burnt up. That's what all that uh, 4th of July light show I saw when I was trying to turn this thing off. That's what burns. You got that burning smell too. And that's right here where all this stuff's at. So there you have it. Um, there's nothing else really to take off. Just leave it all intact. A Harbor Freight battery charge charger dismantle. Chicago Electric Power Systems is what it's called. And uh, it says here 6 volt, 12 volt battery charger, input voltage 120 V AC, output voltage 6 volt, 12 volt V DC, amp selections auto, 2, 2 amp, 4 amp, 6 amp. That's what this was, and it is burned up. And uh, I figure I'd just make a video, I'll see what's on the inside for any of you electronic guys out there that want to. Uh, Burn mark. Build your own battery charger by using what you see here. Throw all this stuff away. There you have. There's some more things right here. I don't know if I showed before. These 
little round things. Zoom in on there. One more look at the panel. And the display. This might still be good because there's no burn marks on the back of this. And it's connected to these buttons. So any of you electronic friends out there interested in this, let me know man. I'm gonna hang on to it for a little while. Today is May 13th. I'll probably hang on to it for a couple weeks before I finally throw it away. And that'll be it. Keep these clamps there. My battery charger dismantling video. So long, geek go!